my roblox game is about to receive the biggest update it's ever had with this new update that is dropping in less than two days we are releasing a ton of new stuff the first thing being a brand new mode called the endless mode which has actually been here ever since release we just really wanted to perfect it and therefore we couldn't really release it when we had released the game but it is going to finally be coming with this update and it's actually so cool i can't wait to show you guys all the leaks i have for it but we're actually releasing a lot more than that another new feature we have or not exactly a new feature but um with the brand new banner system that we currently have in the game the banner refreshes every hour meaning you can get new units and stuff every hour so that now we can actually add stuff into the game and more pals that you guys can try to hatch or well i guess we don't even call it hatching anymore it's it's the fact that you summon for them and oh my god we just got an epic but what i'm trying to say is there's a lot of new pals coming into the game a lot of new ones that you can get for absolutely free you don't even have to spend a single robux and i think we do have some that are going to be coming to the exclusive shop i'm not exactly sure but this is by far our biggest update to begin i wanted to start off with some of the brand new pals that are coming to the game my first little pal or my first victim them i guess i should say is this little sheep bro um i honestly forgot what it's even called in pal world but um this is one of the first new units that we're adding into the game we actually have two versions of this sheep that have still not even been added to the game one that is the normal version which you normally find in pal world and then the other version was one that we had for the valentine's day event which we never really could do because the game didn't come out by that time so we still have two Two of these units one which is going to be coming this update and then the other one which honestly i have no idea when it's going to come out but this guy is probably not going to be that good um i would say it's probably going to be like a uh, i guess maybe a rare if i were to guess or something similar to the chiclet which is just a common currently in the game and by the way all of these brand new units are gonna have completely brand new animations and tons of cool effects if i actually currently go in into the game here let me go ahead and put on a team so that we don't lose okay there we go i think this team is solid and let's just go ahead try to beat tundra on nightmare it's gonna be really hard okay here we go nightmare mode but as you guys know basically right now we have it to where there isn't um like too much effects with every unit right like you have this chicken which honestly can't have that many effects um just jumping in the air with some effects effects popping up it's nothing too crazy we were able to make it pretty fast it didn't take long and i guess it works but what we're trying to do now is we're actually leveling up every single unit in the game all future units including the ones that are coming this update are gonna look a lot better they're gonna have way more to them and overall they're gonna be really cool i think i'll actually be able to show you guys some of the abilities of the new ones that are coming this update even though they're not fun final but oh my god sir we are about to lose this game come on give me money okay there we go sliff lander down something else i actually want to mention right now the current aoe circle that we have is just the same as every other circle for example as you can see sliff lander has the exact circle even though it is full aoe and it will attack anything that goes into it and it will do that all at once so the current problem with that is you can't really tell what is aoe after you've placed it down so we have all brand new circles that are coming into the game i'm not sure if it's exactly gonna be this update but that is something that is on its way um every single circle is gonna be completely revamped it's gonna look a lot better it's gonna be a whole a lot more clean and you'll be able to see it better too but uh, there is way more new pals that we're actually adding and i have to kind of speed through these because there is so many that i have to show you guys so the next one that we have coming is going to be the uni bowl this one we actually have already completely completed and um it's actually very cool what the uni bolt's gonna be able to do is actually stun the enemy units or i guess not even the enemy units just the enemies 
everything is going to be getting stunned by this thing and it's, it will basically be able to stun them for a little bit um the duration for that we haven't really set like these uh the stats for these units right now haven't been completed but we just know that whenever we do add this um it's gonna have a stunning ability and it has a really cool animation as well also we have been looking at a lot of your guys' suggestions on how we could do units such as like what they could do um and as stunning was something that you guys were requesting so we're adding that in this update and in future updates we plan to actually add more stuff than just stunning we want to obviously expand on the ideas and what there is and oh my god bro please don't lose the next unit that I'm going to show you guys, which is actually one of my new favorites, is going to be the Penguin. And this is the normal Penguin because I actually have two versions coming this update. I love this one simply because it's cute. And although I think it's very cute, we're still probably going to like put it at a very low rarity. It has a cool little uh, flapping effect, I believe. Um, I haven't honestly seen this one myself yet. Keep it mind guys all of these units that you see in the game they are very expensive for us to make like this game is the least budget friendly game that you could possibly see and it is very expensive for every single thing to be made in this game and therefore there's just still some stuff i haven't seen completed yet just because it wasn't done in time oh my god dude we're gonna lose this match are you serious i i can't not go interrupted while talking the next unit we have is very similar to the penguin except it is the big mama or whatever you want to call it bro it is the penguin king wait hold on that would be the big dad why the heck? okay never mind but yeah we have the penguin king coming on the way and um the, once again just a way bigger bossier version of the penguin and this one is actually probably going to be a pretty high rarity there's still some leaks that i need to show you guys so i think this one might be a legendary that is probably what we're gonna go for but like I said, guys, none of these have been confirmed on what rarity they're going to be in the summon. However, I just know that you'll be able to get most of these for free. Maybe like one or two of them will be Robux. But obviously, we're not going to set it at an insanely high price or anything. We're going to make sure it's affordable and that it's good if you do decide to buy it. And then the next one we have is the Manta Ray. And um, this one is probably going to be like an epic or something if i were to guess but um by the looks of it it may not look too interesting but this one is pretty cool because what this one does it's not like the abilities for it isn't just like all of these uh normal ones where they just attack this one is actually gonna fly to the enemies and hit them so it's a pretty cool animation for it i think i think you guys are gonna really enjoy it i should be able to also showcase it later in this video which i will try to do when i show you guys the new endless mode and the last two units which i'm only gonna show you guys one right now is going to be the kit soon this one is by far i think our coolest one yet ever coming to the game in general um it is such a cool unit it's still not fully done being completed though but i will be showing you guys what it does and how cool it is of course in this video but the main part of this update is going to be the brand new mode which is endless and we will probably have a leaderboard coming later with it i'm not sure if it's gonna come with the update but we do have plans for it and we want to kind of make it a tournament styled um, mode similar to kind of how toilet tower defense does it but possibly a little bit different i want to try out um different cool things if you guys have suggestions for that definitely let us know but now i think is the time to show you guys this new mode also we did add a new uh command in the game so if you want to quickly go to the lobby all you do is type slash lobby and boom would you look at that it just teleports put you back to the lobby but here's our brand new endless mode right now the only way i can show you guys this is in roblox studio but as you guys can see you do get to pick the mode i'm not exactly sure if we're keeping this in but it's endless so you're kind of supposed to go as far as you want and now i want to show you guys some of the new units in this entirely new map 
keep in mind a lot of things here are temporarily such as the lighting and um yeah the lighting is gonna look different when it's actually in the game but one of the new units that we have is the Terra Moth. And as you guys can see, look at that ability, dude. This guy has a stomping ability. I'm not sure if it um, stuns yet. However, um, he is basically going to be a mythic, I believe. And what this guy is going to do is he does a lot of damage. However, his cooldown is going to be very high. So you have to utilize him on where you want to place it. I would probably say it's best that it's in the back. And right now, I do have it at max level. And the DPS is 5,000. But trust me, it's not going to stay like that. Every stat on these guys, guys, take it for, like, just testing purposes. These are nothing but for testing. They're not actually, like, permanent. They're all actually the same stats including this kitsune fox which i'll show you in a second but firstly like i said i wanted to do this ray um right now we have it as a common in the game and uh the terra moth and the kitsune are both exclusives once again though it's probably just not gonna stay like that and here it is as you guys can see this guy goes to the enemies it's still not fully finished um he's gonna look a little bit cooler when we do complete him but he does currently go to the enemies and as you can see right now the ground seems to be transparent like i can see through the map bro but i would also expect that to be different with this update and overall i'm so excited for you guys to see this bro by the time this is all ready it's gonna be so sick and here it is let it use its ability um the range is once again going to be longer i think this is a unit that um deserves a longer range and there we go as you can see it just goes to them and hits it with his tail which it's still not complete it's supposed to have like a little animation when it hits with the tail but right now it's just not there yet and the last unit i wanted to show you guys was this kitsune bro and it's still not complete however it's so cool already dude and let's go and place it down and upgrade this and look at and that bro look at that ability this guy basically is an aoe unit and it affects everything within its range and look at how big the circle is it has a range of 150 at the moment um it's likely to be nerfed a little bit um and the damage is going to change right now the damage for it isn't even anything that good but just look how cool the ability for it is i'm actually pretty sure um it's different depending on what upgrade you're at yeah this one i think is a little bit different maybe i'm just tripping but um i think depending on your upgrade it's gonna change what the ability looks like and just look at it attacking everything at once bro we have also noticed that a lot of mobile users, you guys were saying that the game was a little bit laggy, especially with all of the effects. And hopefully with this update, I think we might be making it to where um, there's a VFX setting. And that means you'll be able to turn it off so that way you don't have to see any of the effects happening every time. We also are doing so many new changes, such as improving every single um, mechanic on um, all of the enemies so that the way they do walk in a straight line um i can actually show you guys it but as you can see when they do turn now um they are turning a lot faster than they currently do in the game and that is something we had to change because back then it used to be where if they don't change fast enough they'll like start cutting through the lines and everything like they were basically cheating bro and so yeah we had to definitely fix that from being an issue and um now it's no longer an issue and this turbo guy is aoe look at that bro everything is just getting crushed we still have so many more things that are coming this update which i can't quite show in this video simply because either they're not completed or we're not too sure if we're adding this update or the next but one thing i've promised all of you guys is that every update is going to be worked out to the best of our abilities i have to give a massive shout out to the developers noah and imp bro imp is the scripter and noah is the guy who basically manages all of these new pals and stuff like that and these guys have been working 
so hard, bro. Like, they've been working way harder than I have ever done on this game. And it would not be possible without them. So, I would appreciate if you guys could tell them thank you. You know, if you do decide to play the game, definitely check it out. They've been working their butts off. And, um, yeah, I'm so excited about what this new update is going to have. By the time you're seeing this video, the countdown is probably going to be at, like, a day and maybe a few hours remaining. I would say probably an hour and five minutes minutes is when um this video is going to be posted so if you're watching this first um welcome thank you for being first but if you enjoyed this video watch the video on the screen it is one of my best videos yet and i think you will enjoy it and play the game link in the description